welcome back guys so let's check out the android os based on android audio so it's uh, android x86 project and this is the android audio version we will download the latest version the first one and um, i'm downloading the 64 bit one you can download according to your system and uh, i'm trying to use the audio one because the pi version wasn't working for me um, it was crashing a lot so now the files has been downloaded we will move it into the pen drive this pen drive is a ventry pen drive so i've already made it a bootable one i'll link it how to make a ventry pen drive it's very easy and it makes booting really uh, effortless and we will go into search and open the partition creation tool and using this tool we will create partition for our android os so we can right click on our d drive and shrink it and make like at least 20 gb is needed so you can create according to that and also create an additional 500 mb partition uh, it's useful for linux os we won't be needing it in the android os while installing it but try to keep a 500 mb as well for future uses now we will boot into our bios and also make sure your secure boot is off for the grub to work perfectly we will open our pen drive and this vent drive will show up we will just select the audio version and uh, click the select the installation it will take some time and then you will see this window and here select the partition that we have created and select press on ok and format it as xt4 so it will be ready click on yes and it will try to partition it and create a new partition click yes you need to click on yes for every prompt that you get it's going to create the grub menu so to easily do dual boot between windows and android so this version i find it more stable um, than the pi version because the pi version i tried was crashing a lot so let's see if this one works any better i've heard this one is pretty stable so i'm gonna try the oreo version the pi version was crashing a lot so i was trying to make a video about that but it did not work out the installation is pretty smooth and uh, takes lesser time than installing any other the compared to linux and other and what is it really easy to install also compared to lean like chrome os or fido os i'm not even fast forwarding so we will just reboot and uh, to just refresh the system and while rebooting you will see this uh, boot logo this is the dual boot logo uh, that you will see every time you restart your device it will do some and try to find your os and you will see this boot logo and it will take some time and finally you will be booted into android and you will see the the basic uh, startup screen for android you can select your language and uh, yeah it's working pretty fine for now uh, android pi even on the startup screen i was getting a lot of crashing messages but this one looks fine you can even give a name to your laptop i will turn these off these are our just anonymous data so finally we are in the android os we'll just select launcher 3 as our default launcher and this is android oreo i think yes this is android oreo 
Uh, Android Oreo and Pi were very similar in like look wise. So yeah, the screen recording wasn't working. And so even I tried third party apps, but screen recording was issue till Android 10. So I cannot blame anything. So Android, so you can see if you decrease the brackets, there is flickering for the camera. So I'm just keeping at full brightness. And the Wi-Fi is working and uh, make sure you enable this native bridge. So all the application support is uh, increased and uh, you can see the storage amount of storage available. so however much you have created the partition according to that and if you go to the about and you can see the android version is 8.1 the oreo and this is the easter egg the octopus it's, it's working very smooth i can feel the the responsiveness so i'm going to enable the developer options and in the developer options you will have option for root and if you want so if you want root to use root applications you can enable from here so it is hidden in the developer options so yeah if you need that this is available in this rom And they, of course, there is no update. And I've installed some apps like this Subway Surfer. And for some reason, the touch is not work. Like the keyboard control is not working. You know, I'm trying with my mouse, and this just does not work. But uh, surprisingly, in Candy Crush, the touch and like the keyboard controls and mouse was working. So I can play with my mouse, but I could not play with Survey Server. So I think it depends. So you can try in different games and see for yourself. It may or may not work. So for the touch screen, if you have a touch screen, um, I think everything will work and you have a, you will have a much better experience. You have the whole Play Store. You can install any app, all these messaging apps or streaming apps. If you want to watch like multimedia or OTT content. You have all those options with the play store also if you like using kind master for video editing um, this works as well so you can edit your videos on a bigger screen like if you have a really low end pc and the adobe premiere pro or something like it does not work very smoothly i mean many of us edit videos on kind master so you can also do that So if you press the power button you can restart or power off the device and it's very smooth you have these settings very limited and the chrome browser you can open multiple tabs and use it for browsing and uh, like the chrome for the android is also very powerful for daily browsing so audio and video are working pretty fine you can control the volume with your laptop or pc controls the google app is working and also even the google assistant is working so that's pretty good you can control all your devices with your google assistant on your pc so that's an added advantage so yeah that was it for this video i hope you like this one and do don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one